Hey friends, Mike Adams here with the Audacity Bootcamp. I was all set to present a nice video to you on the new noise gate that's in Audacity 3.0.0, but then there was a problem, and the problem was major, because the noise gate in Audacity 3.0.0 doesn't work. In every video that I do, I seem to have a screen open that we need to look at, and this video is no different. Check out this screen that I've got open. This is that loudness and volume thing that I've used in the last uh, few videos to explain the what's new portions of Audacity 3.00 that really apply to podcasters. And like I said, in this video, I had a really nice one prepared for you on the noise gate. I still want to show you some things in the noise gate. But first, I want to talk about how the noise gate does not work in Audacity 3.00. That's the bad news. The good news is 3.0.1 is on its way and should be in our hands soon. But let's take a look at this. I have a section of audio highlighted right here that I want us to take a look at, give a listen to. It's some really loud breathing, loud inhale right there that I wanted to put a gate on it to kind of demonstrate for you how to do that and what was new in the new gate feature. But when I try and put a gate on it, uh, let me just show you what happens. First of all, I'm going to hold down shift and space bar, and that's going to just play through this section over and over again until I hit the space bar again. But as it plays through, listen to how loud it is. It's just kind of ugly. And if you look up in the meter toolbar, you'll see that the level's peaking out there at about a minus 22. And it's something that I wanted to use the noise gate on to get rid of. But let's listen to this for just a second. So that just sounds bad. So what I did, and I had to stop because I realized it wasn't working, is I come down to the noise gate here in Audacity 3.0.0, and I had put a gate threshold of minus 22. That's extreme. I would never do this in a real publication. But just to illustrate this point, I wanted to get rid of that heavy breathing using the noise gate, and I told it to reduce that level by 45 dB, get it way down in the mud, don't want to hear it anymore and uh, see what it would do. But when I went to do this and I hit preview, you'll notice that nothing happens. It won't preview what I'm looking at. What it should be doing when I hit preview is it should be playing through whatever highlighted area that I've got so that I can hear a preview of what the noise gate's gonna do before I apply it. Well, it's not doing that. So then I came through here and I hit okay. And of course it didn't do anything. And that got me kind of worried. Well, then I tried to undo the noise gate and there was nothing to undo. If I come up here to the edit command, this is where I should be able to undo my last command. Well, it never applied a noise gate. It just isn't working. So that's a real problem. And when I got on the uh, discussion board at Audacity team, I saw that there is a fix in place and there's actually a temporary fix in place that you can use if you want. I'll put a link to that in the description below this video. But the real fix is going to be in version 3.0.1. So I guess we have to wait for that. But again, I'll put that temporary link or I'll put that temporary fix as a link in the description of this video so that you can go get it if a noise gate is something that you use a lot. And if you're using version 3.0.0, it's going to uh, help you, at least in a very temporary sense, to uh, work around that. But let me show you the noise gate as far as the interface goes. If I come back here again and I open up the noise gate, we can see here that there's some changes. And the biggest change is that in previous versions, the attack time in milliseconds and the delay time in, or the decay time rather in milliseconds were one setting in previous versions. Now they've been split out. And so now you have an attack time that will go all the way down to one millisecond. Before the attack time couldn't go any lower than 10 milliseconds. And sometimes that just isn't good if you want a quicker attack time to get rid of a piece of noise that's in your uh, project using the noise gate. So the good news now is that you are able to adjust that attack time down to one millisecond. The bad news is it doesn't work. So I wanted to make you aware of that. That's really the biggest change in the noise gate. You'll see that some other things have moved around a little bit as far as where they're at on the screen. But... Uh, that attack time is really the biggest change and the most significant change, in my opinion, of the noise gate to date. So 
Hopefully, they'll get version 3.0.1 published soon, and this problem will be behind us. In the meantime, I will put that link in the description for you so you have it at your fingertips. Hey, I want to remind you, too, that I teach Audacity Bootcamp, beginner to advanced, at udemy.com. And there'll be a link in the description below to that course as well, if that's something that interests you. Right now, it's up to 59 videos. I just did some updates to it uh, concerning version 3.00, and I do keep that course fresh. It's six plus hours right now, spread across 59 video lectures, not unlike this one. But it's where we do start at the beginning in Audacity, and we work our way through intermediate and into advanced topics. And if you register for that course, it's yours forever. Those videos are on demand, and you'll have access to them as long as you need them. So hey, thanks for watching this video, and uh, here's hoping that 3.0.1 comes out soon. And until then, y'all take care.